Make a wish wish and take me around. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Grab the reboot. Grab his card, although. Grab his card. Come on, hurry up. Grab his card. Aww. Hey yo, what's up dorks? Welcome back to my channel. Are you a PC gamer? Are you broke? Do you have $5 to spend? Well my friends, I have a good proposition for you. For just $5 a month, you can have access to hundreds of EA games, many of which are still popular and fun. So in today's list, I want to go over my pick for the top 5 EA Play games on Steam. Now before we get started, I do have to mention that unfortunately you will not own the games outright, and after the month is over, you cannot play the game, unless you stay subscribed to the service. But for $5 a month and access to new and current games, you can't go wrong. In order to sign up, you must go into the Steam store and look up EA Play. There it says you will be charged $5 monthly. But if you set a reminder, you can cancel prior to being charged. So without further ado, let's -a go! Number 5 -o. Kicking things off, I want to put FIFA and Madden up on the list. Reason being, they are hella fun and great games that you can play with your mates if you have some controllers laying around. And I already know what you're going to say, but Walter, it's just a reskin of last year's game. But to that I say, you're not actually paying the 60 or $70 for a reskin. You could literally just play it till you get bored of it, for just $5. Also, when the next year variant drops, you can renew your subscription and play that one as well for another $5. So score all those goals and make all those touchdowns, beat up your dad and lose to online players. Number 4 all Battlefield games for under $5 is a deal you cannot refuse. You got Battlefield 1, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 2042. All great games that you could drop hundreds if not thousands of hours in. The campaigns are amazing, but once you step foot in multiplayer, you can play literally however you want. It's an eye opener. You can be a medic and help people. You can be an engineer and fix things, a sniper and help your team out in recon, and you can be heavy machine gun. The possibilities are endless. And the game can be tailored to many playstyles, many ways to play and hundreds of items to unlock. So don't be shy, download today, and I'll be seeing you on the battlefield, soldier. Numero 3 Now, if you're into horror games, I have the perfect game for you. Dead Space Remastered is an excellent horror game filled with tons of nooks and crannies waiting to obliterate you when you least expect it. The gameplay is fun, and the gore can get crazy. With every situation you encounter, it could be your last. Beat smart, and react accordingly. For $5, you can play this recently released game and spook the living soul out of you. Babies beware. Number 2 -y. Now, you guys might hate me for this one, but I really think Battlefront 2 deserves a spot on the list and here's why. Obviously, the game didn't live up to the hype of the first games. There are still tons of modes and characters that you cannot even play in the current game. However, for $5, you literally cannot go wrong with just trying the game out. If you're a Star Wars fan, then this game has a lot of what you want. You can have huge player battles during memorable events in the movies and lore. Tons of characters and worlds to choose from, from all eras of the movies. And it has a great campaign. If single player campaign isn't your forte, you can hop over to epic battles that you have a chance to turn the tide for your team. If you're not feeling competitive or you want to grind for heroes and abilities, you can even play co-op and casually mow down bots with friends and randoms. For just $5 you can't go wrong dorks. Now, here are some honorable mentions that I wanted to so badly include on the list, but unfortunately, I could only get five. However, they may appear in another video, so stick around for that. Anyways, let's hop over to number one. You dorks ever played Apex Legends? Well, may I introduce to you the father of that game. Prior to every single competitive shooter trying to introduce their dog shit fast paced movement mechanics, Titanfall 2 has been shitting on them for years already. The movement alone has me mesmerized, and it's still almost as beautiful as the day I first played the game. Once you get jiggy with it, you can actually pull off some crazy ass movement mechanics and fuck up the enemy. It's literally a Gundam first person shooter, what's not to love about it? With a great campaign and great multiplayer and co-op, what do you have to lose besides $5? Well, there you have it folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any concerns or want to tell me how much I suck, write everything down below. With that being said, if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe, and write down a comment of what you want to see for next time. With that being said, hope you guys have a great day, and don't forget to tip your waitresses.